Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in the series of how to do back testing, screening, and all the other sort of research with Portfolio123, which if you watched the first video, is one of my favorite research providers, probably my favorite ever, um, because of how quality the data is and that sort of thing. But uh, it can be a little intimidating to use at the beginning, so this video series is aimed to get you up and running as fast as possible. So in this first video, we're gonna look at how to use Portfolio 123's uh, pre-built screeners in order to run some stock ideas. So we're gonna jump in uh, to the software platform here. If you haven't done so already, you need to sign up uh, using the link in the description down below, create an account, activate your email, and get your trial activated. And then you're gonna go to research and then you're going to scroll down to screens which is down here in the bottom left click on that and that will take you to this page which shows you all the screens that you've done so far you can save screens you can see that i have 51 screens saved over the years but on the top left you got a little folder here called portfolio 123 screens so if you click on that now it opens up some of Portfolio 123's pre-built screeners. And the default is just to have a list of general, but I want you to click on this left chart. And that's gonna actually show you the historical backtest for that particular screen. And you can actually see the annual returns. So if we look here at the small and micro cap fund, for example, the annual return is 31.9%. Five-year return is 218%. So obviously, if you look at just compared with the S&P 500 or whatever the benchmark is, the red line is this fund and the blue line is the market. So it's absolutely destroyed the market, which is, is pretty insane. Uh, there's some other ones here, weighted value. There's some Europe funds, estimate revisions. And you can go through the list and see what looks most interesting to you. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and see if anything piques my attention. I think I'm going to go with this weighted value screen, mostly because I like the consistency that the back test has shown. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to give me some details right here on how the screen is constructed. So it's using sales over enterprise value, EBITDA over enterprise value, and free cash flow over enterprise value. There's also a quality factor. It looks like they're screening out for low quality stocks according to the Altman Z. And we can click here to rules. And it shows you all the rules that go into the screen. Don't be intimidated by these. These are things that you'll learn as you get more advanced. You can create much simpler screens than this. And we're going to go ahead and run this back test. So I'm click on the back test button. And so now it's going to tell me some different parameters that we can look at. So it's the stock universe, which is the universe that it's going to select from is the easy to trade US stocks, which are any stock that has a certain level of volume. So it's easy for you to buy it, trying to avoid a bunch of penny stocks with this universe. So we're going to leave that as is. And let's just leave everything about this screen as is. Uh, the benchmark is the Russell 3000, uh, which should be fine. It's rebalancing every four weeks. So let's just go ahead and run this and see what we get. So click on that. It'll take just a minute to run, not as long as other software seems to take just from experience, but you can see here the results. So quite impressive results indeed. Um, so we're going to take a look at these and we're going to see if we can improve this really quickly. So Sortino ratio we have as 1.65. Now this is my favorite risk adjusted metric that I look at personally. So let's see how this changed if we would change the rebalancing frequency, which is how often it's going to buy or sell stock. So instead of doing four weeks let's do let's say quarterly which would be every 13 weeks let's run that again and see what happens so you can see that made the results a little bit worse our sortina ratio gets worse let's see what happens if we run it every 52 weeks and now it gets substantially worse so you can see that this screen is a little more heavily dependent on higher turnover which is not something that i personally am interested in uh, but others of you may be interested in maintaining a strategy like that i am not so this screen would probably not be a great fit for my particular investment style but that's the beauty of portfolio 123 you can access the tools that they have and you can pretty quickly figure out what makes sense for you in your particular investment style. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom screen based on your own criteria. And this is something that I do all the time. I mean, almost literally 
Every day, I'm in Portfolio123 making screeners, running back tests, trying to optimize the investment process that I use for my investments. I also am a professional investor, so I use Portfolio123 for my professional work as well, trying to find new stock ideas, visually see information. So I'll show you how to do all of that in this series. So next video, we'll take a look at creating a custom screen.